Hello back, it's Crocheteer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a little Baby Yoda. This Baby Yoda comes as part of a collection, which you can see I'll link up in the description and with cards. So, without further ado, let's see some Baby Yoda and then start making. You okay? So, for today's Baby Yoda, we're going to be using green for the head, pale brown for the body, gold for the collar, and black for the eyes. So, starting with the head, we're going to get our pale green wool. Going to tie a slip knot. And we're going to do two chains. We also, yeah, we, sorry, I didn't mention we're using a three millimeter crochet hook. So, we'll do our two chains. We are now going to single crochet six stitches into the first chain we did. So there's my first single crochet. And we're going to do five more in the same chain. And there we have our circle. So this will make up the top of the head. You should have six stitches around at this point. So next, we're going to go into our first stitch, which mine is this stitch here. And we're going to do a single crochet. Now, we are going to do an increase stitch. So we single crochet once, and then do another single crochet into that same stitch. And now we're going to do another single crochet into the next stitch, and an increase for the next stitch. So this is two single crochets into this stitch here. And we're going to do another single crochet. And another increase stitch. And here we have the final circle which will make up the top of the head. This should have nine stitches. And that's as large as the head is going to get. Now, we are going to do three rows. So, I'm going to grab my black wool and cut a small amount of it to be a marker. This will just help me know how many rows I've done. So, I'll place this around the stitch I've just done and then start my three rows. Thank you. 
there is my first row. Now I'm going to turn the head inside out. And you can see it has a much nicer finish. So, just pulling our marker ball over. We're going to now carry on with our second row. That's two rows, and pulling our marker to the front, We're going to do our last row. Now, we're going to change colour at this point, so we've finished the head, and to pull out the marker you can, we're now going to move on to our pale brown. So to change colour we're simply going to carry on the crocheting. And so we're going to insert our hook into the stitch. We're going to be doing a single crochet, but we pull the pale brown wool through. And then only using the pale brown we pull it through again. Now we've changed colour. Now we're going to single crochet one. And we're going to do an increase stitch. Now we're going to single crochet two. And we're going to do another increase stitch. And we're going to do another two single crochets. And we're going to do an increase stitch. Just taking my jumper off. So the sun's come out. And so after this we're going to use our marker again. And we're just going to put it under our brown wool. And crochet over it. And we're going to do six rows. We should have 12 stitches at this point. So that's six rows of 12 stitches. So there's the first row of six. I'm going to cut my green wool at this point to stop it tangling with my brown. And 
now I'm just going to pull the marker from the front underneath my brown wool and carry on crocheting over it. This is my second row. And we're going to put the wall to the back and finish with our sixth row. rows. This is the total height of our baby Yoda. So here we've got the head and here we've got the body. So to cast off we're just going to do a slip stitch, put the hook through the stitch and then pull a wool loop through and then pull it straight through the current loop on the hook. Now I'm going to cut this wool and pull it through. Now we can pull our marker out and there is the body. And then taking little bits at a time, and just poke it in. Make sure you get it into the head. Now 
while Baby Yoda is stuffed. So, to stop the stuffing falling out, we're just going to have to make a circle to be sewn in the bottom. We're going to use our brown ball for this. We're going to make our slip knot. going to chain two. And we're going to do six single crochets into our original chain. And there's our circle of six single crochets. Now we're going to single crochet one into the first single crochet. And we're going to do an increased stitch into the next. Going to single crochet one and do an increase. And we're going to single crochet one and do another increase. Now we're going to do a slip stitch and chop the wool, but make sure you've got plenty of wool. Now, you can sew this how you like, and you can do it with a sewing needle, but I choose to use my crochet hook. I'm going to put my hook through the next stitch on the base, and then into the stitch next to where I finished the base. And then I'm going to pull my wool through. And now, I'm going to put my hook in just the hole on the base, the same stitch that I pulled the wool through, and I'm going to put it back through that hole. This will make sure the Baby Yoda has a nice flat bottom so it can easily stand up. Now I'm going to repeat that sewing stitch all around the edge of the Baby Yoda.
Baby Yoda's all sewn up. You can see the flat base here, which I was talking about. So it can easily stand up. And next, we're going to make the arms for the Baby Yoda. So, still using our pale brown. We are going to make a slip knot. And we're going to chain two. And now we are going to single crochet five into our first chain. Now we have five single crochets around our chain. We're going to do five rows, so that's 25 stitches in total. And there's my first five stitches. At this point, I'm going to turn the arm inside out while it's easy. And I'm going to carry on. You can use your marker at this point if you wish. Okay, I've now done three rows, and I misread my pattern, which I've written out next to me. So we're actually only doing three rows. So, that means after three rows, our arm is complete. Now we're just going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. And we're going to cut the arm, but make sure you have a nice lot of wool. Pull the wool through, and pull the wool up through the shoulder for sewing reasons later. Now we're going to make another one. After all, Baby Yoda has two arms. So making a slip knot, we are going to do two chains. And we're going to do five stitches into the first chain. Now we're going to do three rows. Our 
after our first row, we will turn it inside out. And then we have two more rows. And that's our three rows. So now we will slip knot back into the arm and cut the wool nice and long. There we have the arms. We're almost finished already, everything else is just little bits. So, to make the hands, I'm going to get one of our arms. And we're going to get our green wool. And we're going to insert our hook into the inside half of one of the stitches we can see around the edge. So I'm now only going through the inside half of this stitch. I will pull my green ball through. Do a chain. And now I will do two single crochets. One into this same half I did the chain in. And then I'll pick up another stitch, just the inside half, and do a chain next to it. And for my next row, I will do a decrease stitch. So I'll pull the loop through one of my single crochets, pull a loop through the next single crochet. Now I have three loops on my hook, and then I'll pull the ball through all three. Now to make Baby Yoda be able to hold things, we're going to do three chains, and we're going to slip stitch back into the original hole that the hand came from. And now he has a hole in between his the main part of his hand and what I'm going to call his thumb. So we'll cut the wall nice and short. Cut through and then just pull that ball into his hand. And here you can see the hole and I'm holding my crochet hook. Now we're going to repeat the whole hand process, but on the other arm. So, still using our green wool. We are going to pick up the inside half of a stitch, and pull a loop, do a chain and single crochet into that half. And now we're going to put our hook through the inside half of the next stitch, pull the loop, pull through both, and we've got a second single crochet. Now we're going to do a chain, turn over, and decrease those two single crochets. Oops, 
see. Do that decrease again. There we have it. So, to make them hold things, we're going to do three chains. But this time, instead of going into the original hole, which is on this side, we're going to go into the second single crochet one we did on this side, so that his thumbs are always on the top of his hands. So, if you turn it over, I'm going to have my wool to this side, the same side as I'm going into, and then I'm going to do a slip stitch in there. Cut the wool, don't worry about length. And we're going to pull it to his arm. two hands. So, to attach these, I'm going to put our hook through the top of the shoulder and make sure the thumb is on top. Now, you can see where we've finished our baby Yoda, so we can see that this side is the back. You can also see the area we changed colours here. So you want that to be at the back. So we're going to go to the side with our thumb facing away from the back. Put the hook through the first brown row we did. And we're going to pull the wool through. It's your choice how tight you sew it. I'm going to go through here a few more times. And I'm also going to pull the wool to the second, just below the second brown row. And then do a loop back of his hand just to make sure his arm stays down because we don't want it flying everywhere. Now I'm going to pull a loop through the second brown row down and pull all through that loop just to secure the sewing. And now if we pull it into the body. Our baby Yoda now has one arm. And so we're going to repeat the whole sewing process on the other side. Make sure the thumb is on the top of the hand, and then put your hook through the shoulder, and through the first row of the body. Through. Repeat this as many times as you like. I'm going to do a sewing loop just further down his arm to make sure it stays down. And then I'm going to do my securing stitch where I pull a loop through and then pull the wool through the loop. And I'm going to pull that out through the bottom, leaving Baby Yoda with two arms. I'm going to cut all these strings now and thread them in to make him look neater. Now, Baby Yoda needs his collar, the big fluffy bit that goes around his neck. So, 
going to be using my golden wool. You can also use pale brown. You'd just like it to be paler than this if you're going for the um, baby odor we see in the Mandalorian. So, taking this golden wool, we are going to do slim knot. Now I'm going to single crochet two, one into the second chain and another single crochet into the first chain. And now we're going to keep on doing rows of two, just keep going and make a little scarf. And when we think it wraps around his neck and over his shoulders nicely, We'll cut it and sew it up. I imagine it's probably going to be about 12 rows in total. But I'm not entirely sure. So, I will do this. So I think it's done if you just go with me. It should be fine. So I'm going to start with 12 rows, because I think that's what it will be. So there's row 1. Two. Row three. Row four. Row five. Seven. Eight. Let's see how well this wraps. So I'm going to put the end here, the middle of his neck. It's going to wrap around I think it could do with one more row. So that means mine's going to end up with 13 rows. Now, cut the wool nice and long, and cast off by just pulling the wool through the loop on the hook. Now, I'm going to start sewing this, so I'm just going to put my hook through the stitch which I ended on. Wall through it. Now getting baby Yoda. I'm going to put my hook in just to the right of the center of his neck. And then go one stitch across and pull it back out. Now getting the wolf and the scarf, I'm going to pull that through. Getting the other end of the scarf, I'm going to pull the wool through the top corner of that. Now, I'm going to get rid of the strings. Putting my hook 
hook into this corner, and then I'm going to put it into the other corner. And I'm going to sew this scarf up a few times. It's looking a bit high at the moment, don't worry, we'll sort that out later. So, oh baby Lou Yoda, this tiny little head, don't worry, his head will come out. So, we're now going to put our golden wool, we're going to pull it through the arm, so putting our hook through the arm, through the body, and out through the top of the scarf. stitch below where the gold wool on the scarf is coming out. And we're going to pull it through. And now on this side, we're going to pull the wool through our the scarf like we've done the other side. But now we're just going to put our hook in bottom, back through the hole where the gold wool came, and then through the hole below where the gold wool is sticking out, and we're going to pull everything through. Now that will hold the scarf down and keep it nicely snug around his shoulders. So we can now cut that golden wool and push it in. It's gone. If you've got this far, I'm very impressed. We now just have to do the ears and the eyes, which are going to be very easy, very quick. So look forward to having a very cute Baby Yoda finished. I'm going to grab the green wool for the ears. go into my baby Yoda is now facing sideways. I'm going to go further back in the head, about here. So, I'm going to put my hook through around a stitch at the bottom of baby Yoda's head on the right side if he's facing me. I'm going to pull the wall through. chain. Now in that same hole I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do another single crochet, one row higher, so putting my wool through, my hook through the same way, around a stitch but a row higher. Now I'm going to pull the wool through and pull it through the two loops to do another single crochet. Now we're going to do a chain and we're going to do a decrease. We're going to chain two, slip 
not into the first chain we did. Slip uh, stitch, sorry. We're going to slip stitch into the top of the decrease stitch. And we're going to slip stitch into the top of the single crochet stitch and then back into the head. So we slip stitch right along the back of the ear. That'll give it some strength. And there's Baby Yoda's first ear. So, cutting the wool, pull it through and into the body. I stuffed his head very tight, so getting it through the stuffing is a bit of a wall. There we go. And now I'm going to repeat on the other side. So. Facing over towards my right hand, I'm going to go on the same line as his other ears coming out. I'm going to go into the top this time. So, putting my hook in, through, around this stitch here. I'm going to pull the wool through and do a chain. Now I'm going to do a single crochet around that same stitch and do a single crochet around the stitch in the row below. I'm now going to do a decrease stitch. I'm going to do two chains a slip stitch into the first chain and then slip stitch all the way down the ear. And here's our baby Yoda. Now just before we do the eyes, remember to like this video if you love baby Yoda. Remember to comment how yours came along and if there's any other things you'd like to see me make. I'm all into making Star Wars figures and any other figures. Just comment, maybe put a picture in, whatever. I'll make it in a tutorial just like this so you can make it. And subscribe if you'd like to see more patterns just like this. The materials do cost and it takes a lot of time, so I'd highly appreciate a subscribe. So now, using some black wool, I'm going to insert my hook. I'm going to put it in here. So this is uh, maybe two stitches in front of the top, sing uh, top single crochet I did for the ear. Then I'm going to not pull it through the hole next to it on that same row, but the next one. So I have a hole in the middle of my hook. Now this is the same black piece I used for marking my rows earlier. I'm going to pull the wool through. And now I'm going to wrap this wool around the row, this row in the middle there. So I think I'm going to wrap it around three times so he's got nice big cute baby eyes. That's one. That's two. Wool. See his first eye. 
Now I'm going to do the same for this eye. small. I will be making larger ones and doing tutorials if you'd like to see it. Tell me if you would in the, in the comments below. Um, I might also make a to scale Baby Yoda, quite similar to like the dolls um, which you'd get, but a Baby Yoda version. Um, I could give him a mouth so he could eat things and different clothes, it could be great, so tell me in the comments if you'd like to see that. Baby Yoda here is a very small one, as you can see, and he comes as part of a collection that I'm making, so here's Baby Yoda, as you can see. Here is a Jawa I made, there's another video, I'll put a um, card up in the corner, so you can check out the realistic Jawa tutorial. And then my next video, this is a sneak peek, I haven't made this one yet. It's going to be making a R2D2. Um, I made a green one as my prototype here. But obviously it'll be blue. So subscribe if you'd like to see that video. Um, obviously I'll be making a lot more as time goes on. There'll be Darth Vader's, Luke's, Leia's, every Star Wars figure you can imagine. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and goodbye!